All fans here, Frank here coming at you almost every day. Uh, sorry about yesterday, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, was uh, opened up for play and so I didn't uh, wanted to get through my daily golf uh, responsibilities uh, and then get into that game and uh, get that kicked off and get used to how it works and the controls and stuff and see how that is and yeah, it's an absolutely massive, immersive, you know, great game, looks great. Uh, even here on the PS4 Pro. So, uh, anyway, so I kind of rushed through the golf yesterday so I could get into that. But uh, today we're back for our daily uh, round here. And we're going to head out here uh, for our uh, two-round weekend tournament here for round one only. October 27th uh, for this Burl's Back uh, 10,000 coin uh, uh, prize uh, tournament. This uh, was... Uh, Figured out by uh, my co-president of uh, CA Hockey. Uh, try to give him, you know, dibs on setting something at least once a week. Uh, and uh, so, uh, all right, so I'll head on out. Uh, so this is a two round, so it's 110 uh, for the two rounds, which we'll pay in and pay the tax, of course. And uh, uh, see what kind of swing I got here. Uh, Today it comes and goes. All right, you see there our usual everyday settings with the live grid and approach of putting cam enabled. Uh, round one is from the green tees to the uh, number two flag location. So we'll click on into that, load it up, watch the flyovers here because we're not using any scout cameras. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John McCarthy, and I'm just so happy to welcome you to our coverage of this event on the TGC Network. And this is the first round of the event, and we are ready to go. Let's get down to that first tee. Yeah, right away, I'm, I'm pretty impressed uh, with what I'm seeing. But, uh, just about used all the uh, design features here just uh, on this uh, first hull flyover here. So you can see uh, the amount of work that was probably put into it. Let's see if that holds off. Alright, we got us a shortish par. Par four. And hopefully, we can get ourselves out to a uh, lob or sandwich distance here. And with that, I declare this event open. We should bring that around. Uh, Pretty nicely for us. That should jump up really good. Yeah, flew it out there almost 300. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Should have a wedge in. Yeah, that wind should knock this down just a little bit. good Let's come back a little bit yeah just a little bit okay greens okay, look pretty wavy now I think that's normal and this for the birdie and we got 163 on a green speed two down Start. Yeah, so who else been out? Okay, uh, Cap, Stag, and Nike have already been probably out and finished. Or as we'll update as I go. Maybe Nike's still out on the course. He tends to play quicker than I do, uh, no matter what, anyway. And now teeing off on the par five. Looking at a Highlands theme here, uh, I think. Got all that, you know, dry looking areas and dry looking brush and stuff like that. You know, we got 548 on a par 5. Not quite sure where the flag is there because it's not the hole number one.
And it sounded uh, sounded powerful off the club face. This is going for days. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. So far, the thumb is behaving itself. Got it out there about 324, 325. Okay. Maybe we can see just green in two. 195. Oh, yeah, out. easily. And we only need like 170 something with that wind. Looks like a seven iron. Yeah, the shots Ooh, gonna make it. Good. Ooh, it's gonna bounce up. All right, right, we're on in two. All right, it's gonna roll away. All right. Okay. Very well. A couple well feet uh, one way or the other there. That might have had a two. chance of it's getting up there. Up some serious <clears throat> All right, we got a foot up. Thought it was going the other way. <laughs> Twelve feet to go here. A little more mustard on that. Might have, this might have got there. to be about two feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little busy there at the pole. Okay. Okay. Putt will I'll drop take a par. I'll take the par. All right. So one under after two. Makes it little even after three. I guess the guy you got to pretty much keep up with on the leaderboard here so far, but uh, let's see how it goes. Setting right. up for this next tee off. Uh, that uh, could be an issue here. Let's yeah, see. Okay. Big drink of water here, 443, but way downhill. Nice beach here. I'm sure, those trees were planted there just to, just to guard against the stiff wind. All right. Cook it on that. That's not going to be good, is it? Mm -hmm. Mm, still got a chance, though. I think. Where's that tree? All right, we should be okay with that tree. We should be able to get something over that. Probably need the mine iron. Take the eight at this. Oh, 
I thought for sure that through the branches here. I thought for sure that was going to go over yeah, that tree. Oh, uh, look at that. Now, uh, fried egg, right? Done here with this lie. Yeah, this is not good. I took the right club, getting a little roll back toward the hole. Maybe there's a par in here yet. Well, nicely done. That is putting par very much within reach on this hole. Finishing the hole with a solid putt. Okay. All right, still one under through three. Knight's uh, got himself a stroke uh, back here on the fourth. Stag and cap still out there well into the All round. Right, here's the fourth hole. All right, 364, par four, five on the stroke index. I think this course has had enough plays uh, for that to be a legit number. We'll see. All right, we got a bit of a tabletop green going on here. Probably a bunker carry uh, to get there. I think that was going to get there. I didn't think it was going to get that far. I really didn't. Wow. Deceived by that overhead yardage. Wind seems stronger. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, wait. Let's see, we need the 122. Get the gap wedge out of here. Ah, that's a pretty clean light, though. Should we, should we get under it? And we need to get under this a little bit more. <clears throat> and a little sideways on it. And I was going to be short anyway. I guess that's why that's the uh, number four index, number five index. Nine feet away here. And 
And that par putt will drop. With a par save. <clears throat> Mm, it was a short on the previous and hole. Here we are on the fifth. And here we are, Plateau Green. <clears throat> Little town thing going on there. Plenty of uh, tournament type stuff here. Okay. Okay. Going with the seven iron on this one. And I just want to mill it agree here because there's nothing but trouble everywhere else. So. Okay. Mm, that green should not should not fall off there. But okay. And this one's for Birdie. Come on, I thought that was going to turn left big time. Wow. And this putt's for par. Mm, something tells me I'm not going to get that, uh, get that good read this time. Oh, but I did. Some okay. Pod. <clears throat> Get a good read there. Alright, it's still one under through five. And now setting up for the par four. Yeah, a lot of pretty nice work here. I don't know. Bungalows on the beach there. I don't know. You need a little bit more something. Doesn't quite match up with the work on the rest of the course. Sailboats docked with their uh, sails out. And oh my, this is going towards the sand. Of course it is, John. There's sand out there. I'm going to get there. Well, I am interested to see how they get out of this one. That makes two of us, sir. 
I'm going to be able to get out of here with a hybrid. Might be able to get out of here with the hybrid. This putt is essential to save par. My luck's got to run out here one of these days. underread it a little and this for the bogey and tapping that one in for bogey all right so we're now we're even and now nice all of a sudden he's four under through 16. <laughs> okay and let's see what the seventh which is kind of what i expected today. you know some big move someplace or Maybe there's some, you know, mild holes coming up. Four sixty-nine par four. Yeah, there's a green out there somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's some decent, decent bridge planking work there. Okay. Better than the usual, you know, fixed bridges, I guess. because I can't quite pick it out. Check it out over that tree. This shot looks yeah, right at the bunker. Folks. Yeah, right at the bunker. That's the drawbacks of not using, you know, the, the scout cameras there. You're never, see the escape plan here. never quite be. sure if the uh, sight lines aren't obvious. Once more, we're going to take the hybrid out. see this from time to time that shot did not even leave the bunker <laughs> Good job.
really nicely done out of the sand and that is putting par very much within grasp yeah i know about that john Ooh, and that was uh, that was very close. And this one is for the. Yeah, I'll get bit here sooner or later. And uh, it's time to take a peek at the leaderboard. <sighs> Nick had himself a bogey on seventeen. It looks like Stags hanging in through fifteen to minus one. And now the eighth hole. Yeah, this is quite a busy course. A lot of nice work. But pretty damn busy. Should we have some kind of a is that a driving range out there, I guess? Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. Mm, for the moment. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that coming. That one ended up in the bunker. That lie will be much more easy than the last one. And about 160 yards to the pin. Going with the nine iron here. Yeah, that's not very good as far as approach shots go. And the wind getting the better of them there. And another bogey. And now let's take a look at Yeah, it's going to start falling apart sooner or later. And here we go. All right, well, still in third, but uh, falling off the pace. All right, I'll play one more, take five, get a coffee. Five. As always. Just a magnificent display of power here.
from 225 yards. That looks like a uh, five iron. Okay, and hitting this par five and two, that's some fine club work out there. And that will drop for Eagle. <clears throat> Help me out a little bit here. Back to even par through nine. Okay. I will be back in five minutes or so. I know I just, a few just popped in here a couple um, seconds or minutes ago, but I will be back in about five minutes or less.
All right, I'm back, and thanks for your patience as always. As I go, you know, put uh, put a couple of dozen steps on my uh, messed up feet and stuff here in between, and grab a coffee, maybe a quick smoke here. So uh, let's see where we at here. So okay, so we had a birdie, and we were hitting bogeys, and then we came back with that uh, with that eagle on nine. Okay, so I don't know. Let's we'll see how we go here. We don't have, uh, nah, this course is actually too new for a legit stroke index, but, uh, I guess it's a, uh, and now teeing off. On I guess it's had enough plays four. there to get, I don't know, some kind of rudimentary uh, stroke index going on it. I'm not quite sure how they work that. Supposedly you got to get 500 plays on a course before you get a legit, you know, handicap index. So let's see. Uh, I see a tree in a way to green on a short hole, but the wind is a helping. All right, we'll take a shot with the two wood here. Not much room there to loft or deloft anything. Maybe I want to put it into the wind a little bit more. Yeah, it's going to be way hot. Alright, we should stay down the green. Probably like two and feet down on that putt, though. You do it. Hitting the green here off no, the tee easily a foot. on this par four. Yeah, I bet you it behaves more like two feet. Best course of action here is to just try to lag it up there. Yeah, you're immediately into a down slope, and then I think it keeps on going. I think I think this behaves more like two feet than one foot. I really, really do. Yeah, I don't think I was right. All right, we'll take a two putt on this. And this putt's right around two feet. This is more about pace than aim. For the birdie. Okay. All right, hold my own here. Okay, now moving on to the 11th. I'm not sure about that planking bridge with no support under it. But it is what it is. Looks like we're circling back here on this. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure if we got double duty. No, there's no, there's no two flags on there, so okay.
Evans is looking fairway bound. Oh, that's looking water bound. No, okay. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, almost. And no. I apologize, folks. That shot's ended up in the rough. Come on. Well, that shot's uh, not, well, not too good. Uh, well, short. Uh, I was there and I went fast, fast on it, too, so. This lie over that previous lie. Yeah, you think? And this putt to save par. Yeah, I've had more than my, my fair allotment of uh, par saves here already. I received a invitation to the golf club by somebody I don't know. All right, that's strange. Strange indeed. Oh, oh. Look close. It just didn't go. And this putt is for bogey. I thought I was going to bend more to the right, and then I overcorrected for it, and didn't work out. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard. Put my back to even. Back to even par here with seven to go. The next hole we have before us is a par three. Let's see what happens. All right, one sixteen. Twenty here easily. One One's heading for the green. Okay. It's setting up 12 feet away from the cup. Nice. And that one will drop for birdie. Okay, got one back. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. It doesn't even matter what I do today. This is a two-rounder, and I'll be coming back tomorrow uh, to uh, play and stream uh, the second round on this. Oh, my God, look at this. we got trees on the golf course, man. Boy.
Right, that might have been the right play all around. I was probably going to kick right though. No? Okay. All right, that might have been the right play. Okay, about 185 yards to the pin. Looks like a seven iron. Come on, wind. Bring it back up. Looks like really? this one's heading for trouble. Uh, yeah. I went fast on it, pretty much took the wind out of it. And not the greatest approach shot there. Yes, sir. And about four feet from the cup. Oh, come on. Really? This putt is for the bogey. <sighs> My God. Yeah. And tapping That's in even. for the bogey. Really? I see Stag uh, finished even. Cap six over through, through the first round. Nike's got four under there leading the pack. No surprise. He's setting up now on the 14th hole. All right, we got a 505 or so, par 516 on the stroke index. And I can see uh, sight lines are a challenge here again. Right at the flag, maybe from the T. Uh, what do we got here? Right at the tip of that rock. See what happens. Lucky here with a bounce. No, I bet I don't. Nah, no way. Taken through the oh, branches. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Got me a nice bounce there out of the, out of the scrub. He will like that. From 170 yards out. Going with the seven iron on this one. Well, this is definitely heading towards the green. Yeah, these are pretty lumpy greens. A little overdone. And that approach is on the green. Quite a long putt ahead. If you if you can see that much going on here, then it's probably too much. That right there by the hole. And this pipe is for birdie. Oh, this is a P5. I forgot. Okay. I'll take a birdie, I guess. Now let's uh, take a look and see how things are going. Seems like I'm trading uh, birdies and bogeys here. And moving on to the 15th here.
Yeah, yeah sight lines are terrible here. I mean, I mean, it's it's cool. You know, it's well put together and lots of terrain stuff going on here. But uh, wow, okay. I see nothing but trouble here. I can't believe this is uh, no 14 on the stroke index. You know, there's no damn way. And this one's going straight towards that water. Oh, I thought it would hit the bridge. And about 120 yards out from here. Looks like this is going a bit long. I think that one will play on the green now. And this putt is essential for saving par. This one's about two feet from the mm. cup. Okay. <clears throat> Trading birdies and bogeys. And setting up on the 16th tee. Can't seem to buy a par. <laughs> yeah, 460 par, 418 on the stroke index. Eh, I don't know, there's a lot of trouble out here. Pick up. Well, you'll probably like that. And about 165 yards to the pin. Looks like a seven iron. Come on around. Come on around. Good. <clears throat> this looks like around a four footer, I'd say. That'll drop the birdie. OK, 
Okay, and moving on to the 17th now. This course has been a tough sell, man. Damn. I'm going to play shorter than a 189 for sure. Going with the eight iron here. This is going towards the green here. <clears throat> and that one is on the green with quite a bit of real estate to make up on that next putt. Yes, about three feet to the cup from here. And that putt drops on in for par. All right, one more to go here. What do we got coming up here on 18? We got a par five, okay. And as he tees off here on the uh, final hole, he's only three strokes off the lead. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where the water comes from there on that waterfall, but okay. It's not going to be any good. That's uh, not going to be. It's going to be in the sand. How else would it be? Uh, I think we can't be stupid here. And, well, I used up my second shot here already on a par five. Back on the fairway. And hitting from 195 yards out. Going with the four iron here. And this one's heading towards the green. Mm. 
And Ooh. now he's so going to be on in three. With a slim chance for a birdie here. Four inches down. Oh my god. Do the sink or swim, kids. <clears throat> All right. Can and I get a par out of it anyway? Got a poor average anyway. Okay. Solid All right. Well, that concludes round one here today, kids. I will be back uh, tomorrow, Sunday, the 28th, to do uh, second round and final. All right. Well, okay. That could have been worse. Yeah. All right. We really saw that this morning. More. F more swag I don't need. All right, well, I'm only three strokes behind Knight Kapal. Uh, after one round, tomorrow could, you know, be a total different thing. All right, so that will conclude our broadcast for today, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check me out. Subscribe to me on... Uh, yeah, this is the whole thing we've done since the day, day one the game, the game came out. So, uh, all right, so that's today and tomorrow. Um, Monday, Tuesday, I put up this special two-rounder. We usually don't do that on the uh, weekdays, uh, but that's a uh, the Bureau Woods Golf Club. If you check out the HP forums, you know that's uh, uh, made by Skinny Post uh, for some kind of uh, rookie designer <coughs> contest they're working there. And uh, this... Uh, guy that made this course is an old guy from the old Tiger Woods days from uh, Tiger 9 through 12 when we used to play motion control on the Wii. Uh, so I saw that. And so, yeah, just for old time's sake, I put that up. And that's also a uh, 8,000 uh, coin purse there. It doesn't say that there, but that's what it is, even though it doesn't show you. So, uh, Okay, so that will conclude uh, today's this live stream, and thanks for tuning in uh, live or later on on YouTube. I appreciate it, and I'll sign off now.